Welcome back to What's New. The click of a camera freezes a moment in time. It really does. And for those of you who find pictures as fascinating as I do, this is for you. Jasmine, I had a chance recently to sit down with an iconic rock and roll photographer. Her name is Janet McCoskey. She has a new book out entitled Bruce Springsteen Live from the Heartland. And this book chronicles, mostly through Janet's images, his many live shows here in Northeast Ohio and the mutual love affair between Bruce and the people of Cleveland. For many, Bruce Springsteen is the poster boy of rock and roll over the last 50 years. He's famously from New Jersey, but if Hollywood were to write his story, he could easily have been from Cleveland. We are that much of him and he is that much of us. Janet McCoska has shot thousands of rock and roll shows. She's captured well over a million images. But her first show was Bruce's first trip to Cleveland, February 1974, the Allen Theater in Playhouse Square. Capacity 3,000. It was not a full house. Bruce wasn't even the headliner. But that night, he stole the show. So I'm there, and this little scraggly guy comes in. It looks like, kind of like a beatnik. I mean, he's. He's very young Bruce, but he has Clarence with him. He, he gets that audience who has no idea who he is and grabs them. And, and that very moment, he's got Cleveland in the palm of his hands. After 45 minutes, he gets a standing ovation. And it's like, OK, I really like this place. And, and Cleveland, who was here for a British band, see this guy, and they love him. Two careers were born on that cold night in 1974. Janet would blossom into one of the most notable rock and roll photographers of the last 50 years. Bruce on his way to becoming the boss. He's played 36 shows in Northeast Ohio. Janet has captured a dozen on film and now shares her favorite images in the new book. From Richfield Coliseum to Municipal Stadium and Quicken Loans Arena, Janet's lens was sharply focused on Bruce, freezing forever that youthful exuberance, the passion and the energy, and documenting the unique love affair between a rock and roll star and a rock and roll city. Rock and roll is like sports to, to the blue collar city that we were. And that's what young people wanted at the end of the day. They wanted. They wanted rock and roll. That's how they let loose, you know, beer and rock and roll. He was singing songs with themes that that spoke to them. Um, he he was just like them. In 1985, Bruce was at the height of his popularity. He played in front of 71,000 fans at Municipal Stadium, our old ballpark. It was jam packed. The fans in the background of this shot in black and white. Bruce in the foreground, bigger than life, and in living color. Municipal Stadium, it's like a, a, a cathedral for, for Clevelanders, for baseball, for football, for rock and roll. It's, and, and I turn around and I look at all the sea of people and I'm thinking every pair of eyes is gonna be on this guy the minute he comes out. Yes, he was my subject, but they were more my subject. They were the story, they were the ones who were sending out, you know, this earthquake of energy towards him. And, and, and he was there to receive it and to send it back out. Mm, that's my favorite picture. By the way, Janet is just an incredible person and so talented. The text in the book was written by Peter Chikarian, and it, it's, it's amazing the detail. He researched and got the set list of every show he's played wow. that was featured in the book. And Janet, I, I, I love this photo so much. That's and I told her photo. this was my favorite one. She was kind enough to sign it, <laughs> the print, and send it over to me. Janet, thank you very much. It's soon going in a frame, and uh, I'll cherish it. She's only met Bruce one time. Yeah, I was going to ask, did she ever meet him? But she has once. over 300,000 yes. photos of so him. So many images. In she one met time. him once. She said he was very quiet, as she expected. She did the project because during COVID, there were no shows. Wow. So an agent reached out to her and said, Do you have photos of one artist that you'd like to feature? And that led to the book. It's fabulous. Any rock and roll fan, or particularly Bruce fans, check this it out. Is it. It's really, really cool. All right. Very cool.